Richard Hallett and his father Dale operate Hallett's Hay and Seed Farm near Carstairs, Alberta. They grow certified seed as well as high quality horse hay for sale and also run about 100 beef cows. Right now Richard is driving the bale wagon while their employee Jericho does the actual baling. As you probably noticed, they're operating two balers with one tractor. First baler uh, is driven directly off the tractor, the same as it normally would, um, without any, uh, nothing else is unusual. The, the hitch and whatnot just um, stays above it. They custom built the hitch to pull the second baler. The hitch is built strong enough so they can use it elsewhere once baling season is over. I built this actually fairly heavy. It's sort of a dual purpose. You could, and you know, it is two and five sixteenths. You could hook up a trailer to it and uh, pull it around, and you can lift it. So, uh, and it's got a two-inch receiver, so you can hook up any type of trailer. So, it's sort of dual purpose. It works for the hitch, and if you need to lift something else with it, it's uh, strong enough to do that too. The arching frame on the hitch was built for long-term durability and involved some trial and error. At first they tried using just a single large arm. What we did is it's uh, six inch by quarter inch uh, square tubing. Um, we actually used that for a year or two and it, it flexed a little bit. So we put this extra um, truss set up on top of it to, to take the flex out of it. And now it's, it's uh, super strong, I don't think there'd be any any problems. The Hallett double hitch system operates the rear baler with a simple orbital motor. They do a fair bit of custom baling so they designed it to bale windrows up to 15 feet apart which is probably the maximum sized windrows in this area. Hallett says steering the second baler can be easily done from the cab once you get a bit of practice. One simple hydraulic cylinder that's controlled from the cab with a, a remote um, we actually turn down the hydraulic flow so it's quite slow. Uh, when you're operating it, you have a tendency to overcompensate if you steer it too much. And if you just turn a little bit at a, steer it a little bit at a time, it t tends to stay where you want it. They pull the balers with a Bueller Versatile 2145 tractor with variable hydraulics. It has two hydraulic pumps and allows them to change the flow going to the rear baler. Unlike some other double hitches which require their own oil reservoirs, pumps and cooling systems, the Hallets run this system with only the tractor hydraulics. And I think the first pump puts out about 30 gallons a minute and the, ex the second one about an additional 15. So we're running um, two um, pressure lines from the tractor and trying to get roughly about half and half from each of these lines. So there's two pressure lines that tee here and create just one pressure line. Hallett figures they accomplished their goal of making the double hitch as simple as possible, but that required a lot of planning and figuring. This is designed so it pivots and keeps the PTO in line with the baler, depending um, no matter which side it's on, it can be on the left or the right or directly behind. Um, and it can also be taken apart quite simply. Um, if we had to change a bearing or something, it's quite simple to take apart. He estimates small square balers only require power about 25% of the time they're running, which was a factor in how they set up the drive system for the rear baler. We put an extra flywheel in there to keep the inertia going. And uh, so this is an old flywheel off an old Massey Ferguson or Case baler, I forget. And uh, um, so it's quite simple, it's just the hydraulic motor, flywheel, and then there's a shaft and two, two bearings. And uh, we robbed the, the shaft and the bearings off an old mixer mill we had kicking around. The tires on the double hitch are from an old one-ton truck and the axle was also salvaged. It's an old bumper off an old truck. It's a, piece of channel iron, I guess roughly about four by eight. And uh, yeah, it's got a, a pivot that goes right through that and then the top part of the pivot. Um, it, uh, it seems to be, I think it's quite strong. We haven't had any issues. We've used it for uh, 
probably, I think this will be our fifth year and uh, no issues at all. It's, it seems to have held up fine. Halleck continues to tinker with the system and recently added hydraulic valves so the driver can limit the speed of the rear baler and keep it more consistent. He estimates the total material cost of building the double hitch at just under $2,000, which is money well spent for a system which allows for them to double their productivity with only one man and one tractor.